hey youtube and um in this video i'm going to i'm going to show you how you can reset windows 10 password using dual booting for this method you need to have windows 7 and windows 10 operating system on your machine um so once you know you have that let's restart the pc So I'm right here. Uh, instead of um, starting the, the machine with Windows 10, we're going to select Windows 7. And once you see the uh, the welcome window, just um, turn off the PC. Just push the power button until it turns off. So once you see this window here, let's gonna let's push the power button and turn it off, and let's turn on the computer again. And you should be able to get a window here. So let's start the PC again with Windows 7. And you should be able to get this window here, the launch or startup repair. We're going to select this option. And right here, let's click next. And then uh, let's select the user. My username is Windows 7. And let's put the password for that user. Remember that this is the um, this is the Windows Seven PC we're working on right now. Um, and right here, uh, notice something. Just take note of this: that Windows Seven right now is on um, on letter E. Um, so right here, what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, select the command prompt. And then uh, right here, we're going to rename a few files, but we need to find out where Windows Windows 10 is installed. So let's check the D drive. So for me, you know, this should be on, on the D partition. That's where Windows 10 is installed. How do I know that? Because let's take a look over here. It says Windows 7 is on E, on letter E. So the Windows 10 should be on, on letter D. Um, so to rename those files, we're gonna change directory to Windows um, Windows folder forward backslash system32 and click enter. Let's press enter. And right here, we're going to rename two files. Um, the command is gonna be ren uh, util men. That executable, and we're going to rename it um, util men one that execute executable. And right here, and now we need to rename another file that will be the cmd. Sorry, that will be ren cmd that executable. And we're going to rename it util men that executable, and Right now we're working on the Windows 10 machine because the Windows 10 operating system is installed on the on the on the D letter right here on the D drive. So we're gonna press enter and we're gonna exit everything and let's restart the PC again. So now we're going to restart the PC with Windows 10. So once you get here, we're going to click this button here on the uh, on the right hand side. We should be able to get the command prompt. And right here, we're going to reset the password. So the um, the password is going to be net u 
user and the username. My username is, is CSS space asterisk enter. And right here, we're going to type the new password. Um, I'm going to put the new password here. And we're going to confirm the password. And we're going to close everything out of here. And um, we're going to put the new password that we just created. Okay, so now we have um, we have logged into the computer. We have reset the password using dual booting, but there is something else we need to do here. We need to um, change those files back to their original names. So let's restart the PC again, and we're going to restart the PC using Windows Windows Seven. So let's just restart it. So let's start the PC with Windows 7 and we're going to select the same option, launch, startup, repair. Let's click next and right here we're going to select the user username and put the password for the uh, Windows 7 machine and again we're going to select the command prompt and then notice that um, that um, the Windows 7 operating system is still on E so the Windows 10 operating system should be on D so let's click D let's type D column enter and we're going to change that directory to Windows backslash system32 and we're going to rename those files back to their original names and the first command we're going to run is ren um, util men.executable we're going to rename it back to cmd.executable Click enter and the other file is um, the other file is util men one dot executable. We're going to rename it back to util men dot executable. Press enter and you should be all set. Um, just click everything here close everything here it should be good to go um, this is a great method you know if you have dual booting on your computer this is a great method um, to reset Windows 10 password without using any third-party software the only thing you need to know is the password for Windows 7 alright guys so this is everything for this video I hope you guys liked it thank you very much